Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum. Mr. Drake and Company are northwest of the town of Stillwater, right outside the home of Cyrus the Wizard, who has apparently been missing for a couple of days. So Mr. Drake has come out here to see what's happened to him. And, uh, yeah, okay, um, this is not a very good sign. Uh, there's no sign of Cyrus, but there are puddles of blood everywhere. Um... However, there are tracks leading off to the east, so we'll go ahead and follow those and see where they lead. And, oh yeah, um, last episode or so, uh, Mr. Drake leveled up, so he's now level 31. He's got one point to spend. I've decided that for the next, uh, several levels, actually, um, I'm going to put all of his points into Charisma and go ahead and raise that to 20 and raise his maximum number of followers to, uh, 6. Uh, plus the dog is an additional follower at no cost, so he'll have a total of 7 followers. Um, we're, we're going to pick up two followers um, in, in the somewhat near future. Um, I'd originally thought that I would keep his charisma where it was and just drop Sogmead, Mug, and Gar in favor of these two later followers since they have more to contribute in terms of uh, quests and, and just basic dialogue. But I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these two and just pick up the additional two by raising charisma. And raising charisma to 20 will also present uh, an interesting option at the end of the game. Uh, anyway, so the tracks have led to this cave, so Mr. Drake will carefully follow them in. And okay, there are torches on the wall. Seems to be uh, inhabited. There are bones scattered everywhere, so whoever lives here isn't too worried about being tidy. And there's a gnome wizard being held captive. Help! Please get me out of here! That old ogre has got it in his mind to eat me. Are you Cyrus the Wizard? Uh, Mr. Leeks sent me to find you. Richard? Bless that man. I'll enchant everything that man owns if you get me out of here. I was captured by Drog Blacktooth, an old ogre that's lived in these parts for years. He's never bothered me before, but I guess he got hungry. He said he was going out for something to spice up the soup. Please, get me out of here quickly. I'll do my best. Um, Just give me a moment to survey the situation. All right, and uh, <laughs> surveying the situation probably probably means uh, just getting ready for battle because this is probably uh, not going to be able to be resolved diplomatically. So Mr. Drake will don his attire, hasten himself, and await the return of Mr. Blacktooth. And here he comes, and he's not very pleased at uh, having guests unannounced. Okay, and what is he, level 30? Eh, shouldn't be too bad. Okay, he hits Drake in the face three times, and the dog should finish him off. No! Okay, maybe Virgil can. Yes, Virgil puts the axe in the side of his head, and go ahead and relieve Mr. Blacktooth of his key, and open his little makeshift prison and let Cyrus out. Oh, thank the stars. It was going to be wizard stew for old Drog if you hadn't come along. I'm going to run back to town. A good day to you, sir, and thank you. Okay, a uh, good day, Cyrus, and uh, take care, please. Alright, so Cyrus scampers off back to town. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and when we return, Mr. Drake will be back at uh, Mr. Leek's blacksmith shop. So, be right back in a second. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, hello, Mr. Drake. Uh, greetings, Richard. Have you a moment? How can I help you? I found Cyrus. Uh, he'd been waylaid by a most disagreeable ogre. Really? Hm. You must mean old Drog Blacktooth. He's been living up in the hills for a long time, but most of the time he's all teeth but no bite. <laughs> Looks like his stomach got the best of him this time. Well done, friend. Here's the blade I promised you. Good day to you. Uh, thank you, Richard, and good day to you, too. All right, so Mr. Leeks has uh, rewarded Mr. Drake with one of the famed Stillwater Blades. Uh, un unfortunately, it's not an upgrade to uh, the Filament Sword, but at least Mr. Drake saved uh, the helpless gnome wizard and uh, kept him from being Drog Blacktooth's uh, dinner. So, um, well, asking Magnus what to do last time worked out pretty well, so let's see what uh, some of the other companions' uh, opinions on Stillwater are. Uh, let's ask Gar. Yes, sir. 
What would you have me do? Um, can I ask a few questions of you, Gar? What can I answer for you? What do you know about Stillwater? Stillwater is home to the cult of Gestiana. Bunch of sexual deviants, if you ask me. <laughs> Rutting around like farm animals, copulating with strangers. Disgusting. Yeah, that's scandalous. Uh, thanks, Gar. Alright, what about Virgil? What is it that you want of me? Um, can I ask you a few questions? What can I answer for you? Um, do you know if there's any truth to what, uh, Gar said? What do you know about Stillwater? Fantastic! This is Stillwater! They have that cult here, uh, Gushana or something. They have an orgy every year and call it a religious festival. We should go speak with some of the locals, eh? <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind, Virgil. Um, well, it seems worthwhile to, uh, investigate this cult of Gestiana. And Mr. Drake, uh, among all the rumors that he heard at the bar, Mr. Drake found out that the woman to ask about uh, Gestiana would be the priestess Bridget. So here she is. This devastatingly beautiful woman seems to swallow you with her eyes. How delightful! A traveler! Welcome to Stillwater! It's a wondrous day, is it not? Uh, you're in quite the good mood, aren't you? It's so kind of you to say so, but I know I'm not being as loving as our goddess wishes. I must apologize for being so down today. Someone has gone and stolen the idol of our beloved goddess, Gestiana, the Lady of the Vine, and with the festival so close. Well, that's terrible, my lady. The Gestiana festival is the most important time of the year for us, and we simply could not have it without the idol. Her absence would cast a pall over the whole proceedings. What exactly does this festival celebrate? It's a celebration of everything worthwhile in life. Joy, fertility, loving your neighbor. Um, well, I suppose I could try to find it for you. If you were to return the idol, our goddess would bestow her blessing upon you. And this blessing would do what for me? A blessing from our goddess would fill your heart with so much joy that you would appear more beautiful to those around you. I've been amply blessed by the goddess, as you can see. Our goddess is a powerful one. Simply possessing the idol itself will make you more appealing to others. Um, okay, that sounds fair. Uh, you have yourself a deal. Bless you, brother. Uh, good day, ma'am. Alright, so apparently uh, anyone in possession of this idol will, will appear more beautiful than he or she normally would. Now, at the rumor mill at the bar, Mr. Drake had also heard of... Uh, a, a town member living on the outskirts who was formerly uh, reviled by everyone but had as of late become best friend to every man and a lover to every woman and his name was Marley. So that sounds like someone who uh, could be under the beneficial influences of some sort of idol of a goddess of fertility and love. So he'll have an interview with Marley. There seems to be something not quite right with this fellow. He is extremely beautiful in a strange sort of way, but it doesn't seem right somehow. Good day to you, sir. Um, look, it's obvious to any who look at you that you have the stolen idol. What, uh, could you possibly mean? Why did you steal it? It has powers, somehow. It's not magical, yet it transforms whoever owns it. I was an ugly, hated person. In a town where everyone is loved and welcomed, I was rejected. But now that I own the idol, people treat me with love and respect. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but perhaps I could persuade you to part with the statue. I don't see what you could offer me to convince me to change my mind. How about if I get the priestess to bless you? You would do that? That would be most wonderful. I'll finally be accepted. Here's the key to the room where I've been keeping the idol. Uh, thank you, Marley, and good day. Alright, so... With very little trouble, Mr. Drake is able to receive the statue, which Marley was uh, keeping hidden away in a closet, and it's in the shape of a large, golden, naked woman. So Mr. Drake will just run out of there without questioning too much exactly what Marley was doing with the statue, and return to the priestess Bridget with the good news. And she's promised to bless him uh, in return, 
if I remember correctly, the blessing that she gives him is just going to raise his beauty by uh, one point, I think. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. Again, it's been several years since I've uh, played this. Anyway. So here's Bridget. Oh, Traveler, it's you. You look different somehow. Perhaps you would spare me a moment to um, instruct you in the ways of our goddess. Uh, no, thank you, Bridget. Um, I've gotten enough uh, such instruction from Madame Moyle. Um, I did bring you the idol, however. Oh, thank you so much. I bless you in the name of the goddess. Actually, Marley found it. I Perhaps you should bless him as well. Oh, what an excellent idea. I wish I had thought of that sooner. It shall be done. Okay, I'll be on my way then. Uh, please, join our festival celebration. Have some spiced wine to celebrate. Uh, yeah, sure, what could a cup of wine hurt? Uh, don't mind if I do. Okay, and then, uh, apparently Mr. Drake had, uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'd forgotten about that. Apparently Mr. Drake had more than one, uh, glasses of spice wine and uh, either that or Bridget slipped him a roofie and he's inadvertently partaken in the celebration of uh, the festival of the goddess of fertility and love which is apparently just uh, their way of celebrating it is to have an orgy so uh, Mr. Drake will pick up uh, what's left of his dignity off the floor sort of tiptoe his way past the uh, sweaty flesh and, and intertwined limbs and uh, make his way out with his head held in shame and make his way back to the Bleeding Rose Inn. Perhaps stopping off to find a couple of shots of penicillin on the way. Alright. Alright, so Mr. Drake will uh, sleep off his hangover and whatever else he's caught from the uh, celebration. And when we return, he will be in uh, the elven city of Kintara. So, as always, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned.